What's up, 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 what is up? How are y'all doing tonight? It is Friday. Y'all already know. Man, you know how we get down. It is Friday, y'all. I hope y'all had a fantastic week. Um, I know, I don't know about y'all, but I have been busy all week. I'm about to be even more busy next week. It's going to be nuts. Um, <laughs> so I can tell you right now, uh, this is actually going to be not a very long live, um, because, uh, for one, the missus isn't feeling too well. So, you know, I want to make sure I'm not hogging up the room and, you know, so she can get her rest. And, you know, of course, if I got to go tend to her, do that as well. Um, but not only that, your boy, you know, I, I, I got to prepare for some things for next week. So, I, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna bring the news. Um, we don't have a lot of topics. This has actually been kind of a slow week in topics, but you know, we're going to make the best of it and, uh, you know, have a good time nevertheless. Um, but man, 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 man. Uh, and if you stick around, if you stick around, I got a little, little surprise, just a little, nothing crazy, nothing too crazy, but a little surprise. Um, now some of you might uh, also be wondering, um, I was able to, watch and i have to be very careful because people be watching uh i did see the batman but i am not allowed to talk about it or even tell you my reaction to it until monday so i'm gonna try and get that schedule i'm actually gonna be moving around a lot during the week so i may not be able to do it on time but i'm gonna try um but yes uh i on monday or at least sometime next week i'll be able to give y'all my thoughts on that uh so please don't ask me because i can't tell you um wb for whatever reason they just i don't know why like they don't want nobody to talk about their movie until monday so whatever that's the rules of the game so it is what it is uh let's see let's see what else um shout out to the replay gang uh you know i i know y'all be coming through every single time really really appreciate y'all uh so let's go through and say who's in the house let's see who we got tonight diane roberts come on now top vet top supporter what's going on ma'am thank you thank you thank you so much for making it out uh shawul what's going on thank you so much for making it always a pleasure uh come on now y'all we got miss harper in the building y'all know we couldn't have a good live without miss harper so thank you so so much for that as well come on now we got a vet top supporter we got uh, uh the my squad rim 17 in the building thank you thank you thank you for holding it down and for coming through lp is in the building what's going on hello hello uh let's see who else is here i see y'all came in early uh let's see let's see who else uh my man minister crush what's going on brother good to see you as always uh cynthia charles hello ma'am how are you uh let's see the the up oh, we got the other come on now my squad top vet in the building Kristen pratt hello ma'am thank you so much for making it uh my man big bo is here what's going on brother thank you so much uh let's see all oh, the homie Rhonda. what's going on how you doing how you doing thank you so much for making it uh, let's see my man Nelson V. What's going on, brother? Thank you so much for making it out tonight. Uh, let's see Frigga's belt. What's going on? How you doing? Thank you so much. Uh, come on now. Another vet joy Gillian. How are you? Thank you so much. Uh, let's see who else we got. Uh, uh, did my man? What's going on, brother? Thank you so, so much for making it. Uh, let's see Carbro. What's going on? How are you, ma'am? Uh, good to see you as well. Jillian Oakley, thank you so much for making it. Always a pleasure. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, almost skipped them. Sorry. Hold on. There we go. Kim and Jay, there you go. I got you. I got you. Thank you so much for making it. Joey, Joey, what's going on? Thank you so much for making it out as well. Paul, what's going on? Hello. Thank you so, so much for making it out. Uh, my man Zoe is in the building. What's going on, brother? Thank you so much, Latrice. Hello, hello. Thank you so so much for making it out. Uh, Shauna's here. What's going on? Hello, hello. Uh, Robert, what's up? What's up? Hello. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. My man Buck is in the building. What's going on, brother? Uh, appreciate you, Johnny Washington. What's going on, sir? Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, Tun Tulanip Tulanip. 
Oh my god, I'm sorry if I messed that up. My bad. Uh, but thank you so so much for making it. Feel free to correct me, send me a message, whatever you gotta do. I don't want to be messing up y'all names. Uh, but thank you so so much for making it. Uh, let's see who else, who else? I saw some other names. Uh no, we got you already. Okay. I know people are coming in a little late. That's okay. That's okay. Uh Ali, there you are. Hello, ma'am. Thank you so so much. Thank you so much for catching that um that that panel discussion that we had on uh recast the child i'm waiting to see if i can get the video for that um as soon as i can get the video i'll definitely be posting so you know i'll share it as soon as i can get it for everybody um but thank you so much for making it out i really appreciate it i felt the love i felt the love through the zoom <laughs> you know that everybody was uh able to make it whoever could uh let's see mc what's going on thank you so much for making it uh let's see kano what's going on and what yeah whoa big news just had your first baby congratulations kano my good a hey, flawless victory i love it i love it congratulations um and good luck on getting any sleep uh let me just tell you right now take all the pictures and all the video that you can right now that that little that little just born to one two three years old it's gonna go by like that take all the pictures and all the video as possible you cannot overdo it and it's gonna be worth it but congratulations to you thank you thank you thank you so much for joining appreciate you Devin. what's going on thank you so much for making it out tonight as well uh team tech boy what's going on hey team tech boy was on uh the news with al roker Congratulations, DJ, for your comic book. My man went out and he pulled a Thanos. He didn't see enough black representation in comics. So he was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it myself. Okay. And, and guess who his inspiration was? Not me. Not me. Not me. It, yeah, that's right. It was King T'Challa. King T'Challa was his inspiration. Congratulations, Team Tech Boy on your accomplishment very very proud of you that is awesome 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 you think you didn't think i saw it but i saw it i saw it um so yes yeah, shout out to y'all man i love the good news i love that y'all are doing things and y'all are out there uh, uh really making the basically making the change you want to see a reality i love it thank you so so much for joining and congrats on that uh capria hello hello thank you so much for making it out as well uh let's see oh come on now we got the homie the top supporter vet in the building marcy x thank you ma'am so so much for making it you already know i always appreciate you uh let's see who else rebecca is in the building thank you so much rebecca for making it out ld scott what's going on brother how are you uh amber hello hello Corey, hello what's going on uh let's see my man lion oh what's going on brother good to see you as well uh trouble clef is in the building who else we got i thought i saw uh wait 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 uh my man gray there we go okay i didn't want to miss you there of course you know my man tane is in the building too what's going on brother anthony hills here come on now we got the celebrity in here we got the celeb chief my man chief what's going on man i'm i'm here man i'm here don't you worry about it i'm here y'all already know how we get down though my man chief is in the building if y'all did not know this brother right here is a musical genius musical genius i'm telling you go look him up go find his work my man all he does is we just gonna have to call him dylon i'm gonna just call chief dylon because all he do is spit the hot fire that's it that's all he does I, i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell y'all what's going on brother thank you so so much uh braylon what's going on hello hello um all right let me hurry up let me get to these topics here uh so we can go shout out to everybody else that has made it definitely appreciate y'all so so much uh team tech boy there you go thank you so much for that support uh what up right back to you uh let's see oh terrence you in the house okay brother hold on let me get this thank you so so much man appreciate you as always um boom all right man thank you okay and you said terrence says feel better uh to uh mrs e man thank you so much let me send some love right back uh jackie oh my gosh thank you jackie for uh the cash app as well uh, jackie sends twenty dollars and 37 cents because she likes to be exact i'm gonna send some love right back and she said that is for some soup and ginger ale 
uh, for the wife and the 37 cents is for gas, which at this point, I don't even know if I can get like a droplet because I don't know about y'all. Them gas prices have been going through the roof. God, I, I don't know where y'all at. Where y'all, man, I drove by and saw gas was like four dollars and I almost had a heart attack. I was like, why? How? Jesus. Like that. Oh, man, they better get that stuff together out there overseas. They got man, man, it's nuts. It's nuts out there, y'all. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Um, Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let me uh, let me uh, go up. Oh, OK. Eric, what's going on? Thank you. OK, I'm going to need to know how to get that shirt. I got you. I got you. I, um, Do I even have the link? I don't know. Uh, I'll see if I can post the link for you. Um, but I got you. Don't you worry about it. Uh, this is definitely, uh, something I wanted to, um, you know, I, you know, I'm gonna post this mainly because where is it? Jesus. Can I get to my stuff? Y'all not, y'all just gonna hold on, man. I got you. I got you. Cause I'll, I'll definitely post it, uh, in the description as well. Um, so that you can check it out and, you know, get it if you like um okay computer's acting weird anyway i got you don't you worry about it i got you don't worry uh the, in the description usually i'll have uh either my teespring uh merchandise or t public uh that's like merchandise number two um i'll post it on there so it'll be on there and you can get it you know just for those that can't see it it's wakanda forever you know because we have to push the imagery that black representation isn't an either or situation and that you could actually have two strong black people at the same time without having to kill the other one to elevate the other like it's possible just saying so yes 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 i got you covered on that thank you so so much for that uh let's see who else we got rico thank you so much hey man uh say man uh shout out to you uh brethren from houston thank you so much i'm replay game mostly uh but i'm happy to be here with the fam hey thank you thank you thank you so so much shout out to you i heard uh uh, uh texas ain't doing too well y'all getting like some icy weather and stuff like that so you know whatever's going on be kept be safe out there but thank you so so much um for making it out tonight uh come on now we got my man alejandro what's going on brother hey man peaked the zoom last night had to show support. Great job. Thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Uh, and by the way, by the way, I also peep this too. Cause I, you know, sometimes I'll be cyber stalking some of y'all. I don't do it to everybody, but I, I you know, sometimes I'll just be like, oh, let me let me look at some of the my man Alejandro, a photographer, bro, got the skills. He got the eye and the skill. I seen the work, it's some good quality work, brother. I just want to tell you, good stuff out there, good stuff. But thank you, thank you, thank you for that, Alejandro. Always a pleasure, man. Uh, let's see who who else we got. Uh, Dorian, After Dark. No, nah, we ain't got time for After Dark. I, I I'm I'm tired. The wife ain't feeling too good, so tonight we gonna have to kind of we gonna have to make a sacrifice tonight. Uh, because if, if y'all if we did not After Dark, I'd be on here like, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. And I can't do that to y'all. I can't do that to y'all. I'm old. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, we'll get it next time. Don't you worry about it. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see. All right, let's jump into the topics tonight. Let's get the boring stuff out the way first. Uh, y'all already know this is a. I I don't know who's running the Oscars. I don't know. I I, I just don't get it. I don't know what their thinking is. But one thing is for sure, they just can't get right. Um, they are constantly um trying to do things that i don't think people want and i don't think people care about and it's like for whatever reason they just cannot get they act together so now they're not going to uh air all the categories during their live broadcast and here's the thing here's the thing if you didn't care about the oscars before Imagine the people that do care about the Oscars, right? The people that actually do care about the Oscars, they want that stuff. They want to see all of the, you know, the small things like who was the best sound or best makeup and stuff like that. They like that stuff. 
And now the Oscars are saying like, nah, we we gonna try and cut some of these out and maybe give those things, you know, during the commercial break. For what? Because you want to attract the people that didn't really care about the Oscars? It's like, you gonna have to pick who you want to choose because it's just... It's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work, and I and it's messed up because, and I'll be honest, I'm not as enthusiastic for some of the lesser known uh, um, uh, categories, you know. So w- let's be honest. Let's be honest. Most people, whether you a fan of the Oscars or not, if there's any interest in them. You're coming in for best director, best actor, best actress, maybe supporting, right, for both, and best picture. That's really it? If we being straight up with it, if we just keeping it 100, that's really all most people are going for. Now, of course, you might want the best music, soundtrack, all that, but the average person is only caring about the actors, director, and who's going to win best picture. But, ah, yeah, for whatever reason, they thought that this was a good idea. So, I don't know. Um, You know, it, whew, they, I don't know what they're going to have to do. They just, they 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 have a lot of work to do. Because um, I, I don't even know if I would have made that announcement. I think I would have just done it. But, I, I, whatever. Anyway, does this maybe entice you to watch the Oscars? Because at least... According to them, they're going to cut out maybe the least favorable uh, segments, maybe to keep it a little more entertaining. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if y'all. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let me know how you feel about it. If you feel about it at all, you know, either way, um, yeah, we, we can just move to the next topic because I, I, I don't care. But, you know, I told y'all the news was very thin this week. You know, it is what it is um yo we got a kill bill three update y'all now look i have been a huge i'm a big tarantino fan love his movies um kill bill one and two i thought were fantastic uh but yeah we definitely have i think there's always been some interest in having a kill bill three you know actually happen i mean you got Uma Thurman right there. And then Tarantino's over here talking about like, ah, he's going to retire after his next film, blah, blah, blah. You know, people are like, yo, what's going to happen? Like get Zendaya, you know, to come in and play the little daughter of Vivica A. Fox's character and have her go on a revenge after, you know, the bride. Like there were so many different things that they can do to keep this going. So anyway, Uma Thurman actually came out and said uh, she actually gave a quick uh, update on this. So let me just read what she said. Uh, She said that uh, Kill Bill 3 is not immediately on the horizon, despite fan wishes. Uh, She said in an interview, I can't really tell you anything about it. I mean, it has been discussed over the years. There There was real thought about it happening. Uh, but a very long time ago, I don't immediately, I don't see it as immediately on the horizon. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I, I, I just don't know. Like, why don't you want money? Why, why don't y'all want money? This is, this is something that people have actually been wanting. You know how many times we keep getting sequels and reboots and C boots and all these things that did nobody ask for. But the one time we actually asked for something, y'all just like, nah. I I don't get. It. I don't know why they don't. Whatever, whatever. So, um, I don't think that this is, you know, completely done. It's not completely off the table, but it's not looking promising. So, maybe we do have to move on. Maybe we do have to let it go. Because the last thing I want is, you know, don't be waiting until she's like, you know, 60 years old and can not can barely hold up a sword. And now you want to try and do it at that point. Like, nah, 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 G. Just, just go ahead and do it now or just leave it alone. Because at this point, I'm tired of the back and forth. 
Um, but anyway, do, would you still want to see a Kill Bill Volume Three, or are you do, like, does this kind of like deflate the whole balloon and maybe all hope is gone? I don't know. Let me know what you think. All right, let's go. I got a couple comments here. Uh, but, but, but my man Derek Gaines, sorry I'm late. I haven't watched the Oscars since Cuba won. Hey, bro, I don't think you're alone in that at all. And thank you so much for the support, man. Um, you know, I. <sighs> I, I would tune in for, I mean, I barely tuned in, you know, like I tuned in. I remember a couple years ago, I think it was when, when Ellen was hosting and when Jimmy Kimmel was hosting, that's about it. Like, I couldn't even tell you like what happened. I couldn't tell you. I was just tuning back in and out. I don't know. I don't know. I, I like I said, the only value the Oscars has really is whoever wins they get a future push for like the next two, three years in their career. So if XYZ director or XYZ actor wins, you'll see them in more movies in the next couple years. But outside of that, I don't think it has that much of a impact on the average person. So I understand, bro. Uh, let's see. Lyle, what you got? Oscars should have stunt awards. It'll be better. I agree. I agree because, you know, like not only should I think, you know, because I, my issue is so okay when you look at the categories i definitely think they should have a stunts award right because stunts are hard work too the people that are doing the choreography and stunts they're working just as hard as like anybody else who's writing or doing like you know uh, uh the camera work or the editing like everybody is doing valuable work and it's ridiculous that stunts are not recognized stunts a lot of times are the things that bring us to the movies as well. So I 110% agree with that. Um, you know, but I also think that if you're going to have a stunts category, then uh, maybe you need to also expand the categories to best comedy, best action flick um, or something, because my issue is the best picture. There's such a bias in that, in that uh, recognition that even when they expand it to like 10, you know, uh, uh, nominees, there's still a bias against action flicks. And I don't recall seeing a comedy really leading, you know, for the uh, in the conversation of best picture. I mean, comedies are movies, too. Action films are movies, too. Why aren't those? Why is it only a drama that should be recognized for best picture? So if you're not going to recognize them, make them a separate category because it's ridiculous to sit here and talk about, you know, all of these movies and what's the best or whatever, but you're like discriminating against stunts and action and superhero flicks and comedies and stuff like do it all, you know, but maybe you actually get people to care. Maybe you'll get more people in because I wouldn't mind seeing that, but yeah, good point. Thank you so much for that, Lyle. Uh, let's see. S.I.K., what's going on? Thank you so much. Usually replay, gang, so I can't listen at work, uh, so I can listen at work, uh, but wanted to show love tonight. Hey, thank you so, so much for that. Really, really appreciate that support. Um, and again, shout out to the replay gang all day. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's see, who else? My man Didier, what's up? Uh, they could cast Uma's daughter as the bride at this point. She looks just like her mama. She looked just like... Listen, I... And if you recall, that's the... Uh, her daughter is uh, the one in Stranger Things. I forget the character's name. I haven't watched Stranger Things in so long uh, since they've taken forever. Um, but yeah, her daughter in Stranger Things, that's uh, it's her daughter and um, Ethan Hawke's daughter, I believe. Um, but yeah, oh, she could totally step right in because she looked just like her mama. She looked just like her mama. But yes, facts. Good point, Didia. Thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, Kano, what's going on? Thank you. I would have watched the Oscars for Kevin Hart. Sure. You know, like, and I've always said this too, like, I think the Oscars work with a host. You know, I think the host is a good element to have, but you can't just put anybody in there. You do need someone who can be witty, funny, charismatic, and someone who can do things off the cuff because some maybe something random happens. You don't know. Um, you know, I always like the monologues. I do like the the jokes and stuff. I don't really think we need all the skits and everything that they do in the middle, but you do need a good host 
Um, because if anything, maybe that host can give you a nice viral moment so that even after the show, when people are watching the highlights, they'll have something to, you know, to look at. But yeah, good point. I, I totally take Kevin Hart. I think he'd be a really good fit uh fit for that too. Oh, somebody said something good. Hold on. Where where was it? I scrolled too fast. Hold on. Uh oh, yes. Good point, Eric. Yes. Horror. Horror also gets slighted as what man. Yes, facts. L that listen, they need to just expand this thing. Expand it to all the different genres. To say what's the best drama, best action, best horror, best comedy, best adventure. But I mean, they do have animated, they have short films. Just do that. Oh, good point. Good point. Even though I will say this for horror movies, because you know, I'm a horror junkie. I love horror. A lot of the horror movies are trash because <laughs> like they're so low budget they don't push the envelope as much and they rely on like a lot of formulaic stuff like cheap jump scares so i can understand how that's gonna be a tough one but i do agree that the genre should be and here's the thing i think that if the genre were recognized as an oscar contender that might actually push the genre because then studios might be like, oh, we want those accolades. Because, you know, when they rack up them accolades, it's, you know, a pat on their back. They might be like, yo, let's put a little bit more money into this. Yo, let's do this a little bit stronger because we want to get that Oscar. Man, see, we get we we got better ideas than the than the, the Oscars themselves. See, come on now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I got it. I'm going to have the link soon. Um. I'm tripping right now. I don't know why I can't uh, get it. But yes, bro, I got you on the link. Uh, don't you worry. Soon as I get, uh, can I get it? Dang, they're not going to let me have it right now. Uh, I will get it for you, though. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I will get it. Oh, there it is. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Uh, nope, I lied. Okay, I gotta upload it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta upload it. So I have to make it. Let me make it and then I'll give you the link uh, later. Uh, I'll post it like, uh, I'll pin it on the uh, description of this. So check back like on Saturday or something on this video and you'll see it. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see, let's see. Alejandro, Billy Crystal was pretty good. Yo, Billy Crystal was like one of the best ones to ever host the Oscars for sure. That like one of the best. Um, but yes, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Dion, thank you so much. Jordan Peele pushed the mold on horror. Get Out and Us should have received several nominations. Facts on top of facts on top of facts. Totally, totally agree with you. Um, not only Jordan Peele, um, now granted his latest work, I don't stand by that, but James Wan. James Wan for the, I think Insidious 1 and 2 should have always gotten some consideration because, he stays pushing the genre. Now, his last one, Malignant, I ain't messing with that. Like, I don't like that movie. I don't endorse it. I, it's not my favorite. Man, I think he took a step down. But other than that, my man is a horror genius. Um, but yes, absolutely. Because again, when it came to get out, and a lot, some critics, some I don't know, I shouldn't say critics, some academy voters, so that, those could be anybody. Um, they admitted that they didn't want to watch Get Out, that it didn't appeal to them. So you know, uh, having that horror category would be real good to force them to actually consider those things. Um, but thank you so much for that, Dion. Appreciate that. Uh, Rims, thank you so much. Family, E-Man has been working hard. Please hit the likes to show support. It's free. I promise. Rims, thank you so, so much. And yes, I definitely appreciate that. If y'all can give this a uh, nice little thumbs up, appreciate that all day. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? So let's go on to the next. Um, hold on. Did uh. Uh, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh-oh, hold on. I did skip. Hold on, I got one. I'm sorry, Derek. There you go. Uh, E-Man, my daughter, take in. Uh, heard your voice uh, in, uh, hasn't heard your voice in months, I'm assuming. Uh, she hears you and comes running. I'm home. Thanks for your love. Uh, me and her need to talk. <laughs> Thank you, man. Hey, I'm so, so happy that you're back home and that you rested up, healed up. Thank you, brother. Always appreciate it. Tell taking, I said, what's up, what's up, what's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. I appreciate you both. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, let's go on to the next topic here. Uh, <laughs> so I think we saw this coming a mile away, but um, 
news breaking news dave Chappelle ain't canceled uh y'all know he's been going back and forth with all the controversy with netflix and um you know going back and forth with the trans community and there was all there was all these protests and walkouts and you know all this stuff was just all this drama it was going on and i'm pretty sure i got links on my channel so if you don't know you can go back to my channel and check those out but um Dave Chappelle is uncancelable at this point. Like, it's just not going to happen. I mean, I don't know why people keep thinking that's going to happen, but apparently it's just not going to. And Netflix is going to stand by him. They just announced four new Dave Chappelle comedy specials. Four. Four. Whoo. Listen, remember when Dave was going through this stuff and and uh the netflix employees were like protesting and netflix was like we ain't going nowhere like we sorry you feel that way but dave is where the money resides yeah that's that's yeah like people go to netflix to see dave chappelle He's one of the top, if not one of the best comics of all time. Like, why why would they throw him away? Because you have an issue, and it's not saying it's an invalid issue. It's something that I would think is just worth having a conversation about. Have that conversation. I've said this from the beginning. If you don't like Dave, you don't have to watch him. If you don't like what he said, hold him accountable. Make it a teachable moment. Engage in that conversation. And go from there, you know? So, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, but he has, he, he ain't going nowhere at all. Uh, let me see what he had to say. Um, let's see. Okay, so the series of specials is dubbed Chappelle's Home Team, and each will feature a different comic introduced by Chappelle. Uh, The first is going to introduce, is going to be featured, the first to be featured is Earthquake. Uh, Oh, okay, Earthquake. Oh, that's a legend right there. Uh, Let's see. So Earthquake is going to be the first one. Uh, Let's see. Dave said, I've been doing this a long time, and comedians like Quake and Donnell Rollins uh, are not only friends, but have inspired my own career. Anyone in the comedy community knows these names and knows their time to shine is long overdue. I'm proud to be a part of this moment. You know what? I got to say, that's actually pretty dope. This is a very good example of um, when you get on, you go back and help the people that that are coming behind you, right? Um, It's highly unlikely that Earthquake would have gotten a netflix special by himself it's highly unlikely that donnell rollins you know aka ashy larry you know like and he's funny he is funny but it's highly unlikely that he would have gotten a netflix special by by himself but when you have someone as successful as dave chappelle to open up the doors and be like hey let me do a dave chappelle presents and i'm gonna put the homies on I'm going to put my friends on. These are the people like that to me. I, I, I respect that. I respect people using their platforms to leverage it in a way to give other people an opportunity. Dave Chappelle, since we're talking about the trans situation, he did that for his friend, his trans friend that passed away, committed suicide. Um, he did that for them. He, he gave them the opportunity to go and do stand up for him. And, it, you know, like, that was dope. That was dope. So I really love this move by Dave Chappelle. I love the move by Netflix. I mean, obviously, they're only in it for the money. Um, but I'm glad that they stuck to their guns. You know, they weren't, like, saying, like, well, screw your issues, you know, trans community or whatever. But they were like, yo, it's also a business, you know. Um, we're not forcing nobody to watch nothing. You know, we respect your opinions. If you have a different opinion, you're free to that. No one is forcing anyone to feel any type of way. You can voice your opinion. You can boycott. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, but on the flip side of that, people are also going to do what they want to do. So I don't know. For me, I'm just like, and I'll stay on this 
um as i've been saying is like i just wish more people just talk i wish different sides would just engage in more conversation uh, i think there's a lot to learn from different sides uh rather than just arguing and not listening um so anyway uh so uh, how do y'all feel about this new um comedy special are you excited you're going to be looking forward to this uh let me know how you feeling about it uh as it comes to netflix or or maybe you don't mess with Dave Chappelle. that's cool too you know if that's your that's your prerogative but anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments all right let's see who we got here my man Ernest, thank you so much, brother. Uh, the Oscars are old, white, and out of touch. The same type of movie every year. Well, um, you know, that that's that's an industry thing, you know, because when you think about it, the studios are going to do what they think works. They're going to do what they think the audience or the, the industry will receive. Um, I know some people don't, movie purists don't like this term, but there is such a thing as Oscar bait. There is such a term, uh, uh, such a thing as movies being made in a certain way that play to the Hollywood crowd because the vast majority of the uh, Academy people are in Hollywood. Um, and of course, those movies just so happen to get released only to critics and only to the you know industry um, around Oscar time. They don't they don't drop them things in February. They don't drop them in the summertime. They wait until like December. And then all of a sudden they throw them movies. And guess what? A lot of them are drama pieces, musicals, you know, all these different. Th so it is what it is. But if it ain't broke, they not going to fix it. And they don't think it's broke. Take that for what it is. Ernest, thank you so, so much for that uh, support. Really appreciate you. Uh, let's see. AJ, thank you so much. E-Man, I see you doing your thing. Mr. Zoom, all good, AJ. Thank you so much for that support. Um, and like I said, I will definitely try and get, um, <clears throat> I will try to get that uh, video, <clears throat> excuse me, as soon as they send it to me uh, so I can upload it for anyone that um, also missed it. But thank you. Thank you so, so much for that. Uh, Dion, thank you. Next special will break viewership records. It could. It could. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if I think it depends on how it's advertised. Now, Dave Chappelle is going to be introducing them. So I wonder, like, are you going to give us 15 minutes of a quick set? You know, because a lot of times when it's such and such presents, you don't get a lot of that person. So it's not like a Dave Chappelle comedy, you know, a, a stand up routine. It's just a comedy special. So he might be in there to open and then to close. But then the rest of it is going to be Earthquake and Donnell Rollins and whoever else is going to be in there. So um, I, I don't know. I think it depends because if they put D Dave Chappelle at the forefront, I think that will attract people to get the viewership up. But other than that, um, I don't think it's going to I don't think it's going to have the same traction as. Like an actual Dave Chappelle comedy you know stand up but anyway thank you so much for that uh let's see alejandro what you got uh on uh one the real uh i'm glad uh netflix ain't giving into the cancel culture Chappelle is the goat plus netflix ain't stupid yeah that i mean they said it in their press release really early that we're not good we're not giving up on dave Chappelle. you know i mean i i put it to you like this like they um they were willing to risk everything. <laughs> they were willing to risk whatever PR stuff or whatever to just stick with him. And they've paid him the most amount of money. It's not going anywhere. I'm sorry. Like, because here's the thing. If they don't keep, oh, think about this. Remember that Chappelle show situation where Netflix had the Chappelle show on their platform and they were playing it? And Dave Chappelle was like, yo, this is really messed up. My name is on this thing, and I'm not making no money because Comedy Central screwed me, blah, 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 blah. And what did Netflix do? They stopped airing it, and they cut Chappelle a check. Why? To maintain that business relationship. They knew where the money resided. They knew that. And they know, and I guarantee you this, if Netflix, for whatever reason, if they lose their relationship with Dave Chappelle, 
Dave Chappelle ain't going to be hurting. Only Netflix will. Because Dave Chappelle will probably land a multi-million dollar deal going straight to uh, uh, HBO. He he goes straight to HBO or Showtime, and I guarantee you people are going to sign up just to go watch that. So, yeah, they know how to secure the bag, literally, with him. Uh, but thank you so, so much for that. Appreciate you, sir. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. We got Big Bo. What's going on? Dave grabbing all the comics by the, uh, from D.C., uh, my hometown, and putting them on. Facts. Facts. And this is how he gets down. I, I really respect that. Like, for real, for real. Um, it's really dope that he's doing that to help them out. Uh, thank you for that. Kano, thank you so much. Heck yeah, I'm watching, y'all. Uh, I'm watching. Uh, let's see. Thought we was going to cancel Dave or Whoopi. Nah. Nah, I listen, even that whoopee situation, that like I wasn't I wasn't the biggest fan of that. Um, because I understood what whoopee was talking about in terms of now, okay, just to give y'all some background information. Um, I wasn't really gonna cover this because I didn't want nobody getting all sentimental or whatever. Um, but whoopee had gotten suspended from the view because she was saying that the Holocaust. Uh, you know, Hitler and the Jews and Nazis, um, that it was not about race. And she was coming from a different perspective. She was coming from an American, a black American perspective of the term race. When we think of race, we think about what you visually see in terms of people's skin and their appearance and their color and stuff like that. That's how we had on the West side of the globe. That's how the Western side, that's how we conceptualize the term race. On the other side of the pond, um, the Nazis, they did make the issue about race because they wanted to make the Jewish people a race. And then they used that against them basically to discriminate and cause like all this, all these atrocities against them. So, in a sense, in my opinion, Whoopi just had a different connotation of different social meaning of the term um, that obviously she needed to be more educated about how the Nazis felt. She had to be more educated about how they felt because I, I'll be honest, be, I didn't talk about it because I didn't know enough to talk about either side. Now, I had to go watch some videos and all this stuff. The only thing I came away with was that even the Jewish community still debate, they debate, you know, amongst themselves. So I don't get into it, but there's a difference between ethnicity and race and religion when it comes to defining Jewish people, because Jewish people come in all uh, sizes, colors, you know, from all different places. But at the same time, you know, there's like the, there, there's an ethnic component. There's a racial component. There's a religious component. It's too confusing for me, so I don't jump into none of that. I let y'all have that conversation because I don't want to say nothing out of place. And then people say, E-Man's anti-Semitic. Nah, nah, nah. E-Man love everybody. Like, get out of here with that. But Whoopi was uninformed. She got suspended, came back, whatever. Um, but yeah, she was never going to get canceled. Like, that was not going to happen. It just, it just wasn't. Um, but anyway, thank you, Kano, for that. And I guess I, I squeezed in that whoopee thing unexpectedly. <laughs> thank you for that anyway. Uh, Doria, what you got? Uh, let's see. For example, couldn't get through uh, Meet the Ricardos. It definitely seemed like only made by Hollywood for Hollywood, not for actual fans of I Love Lucy. That's not a bad take. It's not a bad take. Um, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Like it's, it's, I, I couldn't finish it myself. I, I tried and it just wasn't appealing enough. Um, but I could also see how other people in the industry would like it and appreciate it. So yeah, I think you're spot on with that. Thank you for that. That that's, that's a really good take. Uh, team tech boy. Thank you so much. Uh, I told my mom, you gave me a shout out. She thinks I'm joking. Hey, Mama Team Tech Boy, E-Man gave him a shout out because he's dope. And you dope too for encouraging him. Because I saw you on the news too, Mama T Team Tech Boy. I saw you on the news. Shout out to you for raising a great stand-up kid. Uh, let's see. Can you tell her I'm not joking? He's not joking. <laughs> Rick Asachala, I miss my hero. Hey, 
right there with you, bro. Right there with you. Tell mama I said what's up. Um, but yeah, man, you're doing good things, and I can't wait to see. Uh, I, was it Science Girl? I think Science Girl is gonna be the next issue. Keep going, keep doing your thing. Hey, and the moment your stuff gets adapted to a, a, a movie or TV, we're gonna be talking about it right here. So you heard it here. We're gonna make this happen. I got you. I got you. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, let's see. Oh, come through, come through. Uh, the homie Black Widow. Thank you so so much, Diane. Appreciate you. Recast the Chala. Hey, E Man and E Man Gang. Thank you, Diane. Appreciate you as always. Top supporter, y'all. Y'all already know. Uh, vet in the building. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man, for that generous, super, super generous super chat. So, so appreciated. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much. What was that? Uh, E-Man. Whoopi wasn't uh, wrong. People just took it out of context if you listen to what's... Yes, no, I agree. No, I, I, I agree with you. I, that's why I said she had a different version of how she was perceiving the word race, but at the same time, uh, so she wasn't wrong with the lane that she was talking about, but she was wrong because that's not the viewpoint of how the Nazis defined race, right? So when she said the Holocaust was not about race, no, it wasn't about race the way black folks in America see race, but it was about race according to how the Jew, uh, the, the, the Nazis viewed and tried to construe race. So that's where she was wrong. It, again, it gets kind of messy and stuff. But yes, I hear you on that. I hear you. Um, but I, that's one of those reasons why I'm like, you know, I'm more for the conversations and education. Um, I don't think the suspension was needed. I think it was a little bit over because the, the other messed up thing about Whoopi's situation was ABC told her to apologize. And she did the very next day. She apologized the very next day. She had someone from the, uh, I think it was like the, uh, someone from the Jewish community, um, I forget where, um, but they came on the show, they educated her and the audience, she apologized, and then they suspended her again. I'm like, in the whole point about like learning and doing better, because it's not like she was saying anything in a malicious way, you know, but anyway, uh, it, it's, you know, certain, certain topics you just can't touch, you know, but uh, thank you for that. Tane, what's going on? Bruh, what's with these phone cases all being iPhone and Android only has cases from eight years ago? Man, me mugging, travel mug it is. Recast the child, I have no idea. <laughs> what? Phone cases? What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. But I do like recast the child, so I'll take that. <laughs> thank you, Tate. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, let's see. Pumali, thank you so much. Hey, fam, I'm late. It's Freaky Friday. I've uh, been doing my Black History Month 2022 um recast the child let's keep this up i'm proud of e uh still the interview wow thank you so so much man i appreciate you uh you know i'm still and listen we still got one in the chamber we still got one actually i don't want that to sound violent we still have one up our sleeve we got one trick up our sleeve <laughs> all right um i'm just waiting for that to to drop the, the moment that thing drops y'all know i'm about to i'm gonna blast the mess out of this like we still got one heavy hitter left Still got one heavy hitter, uh, but stay tuned for that. Thank you, Puma. Uh, Donnell, what you got? I don't have time to separate white folks into different categories. Chris Rock. Well, Chris Rock has always said some very insightful things. Very insightful things. Um, but I will leave that alone. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Donnell. Uh, Nelson V, what's up, E-Man? Uh, has any Oscar-winning movie made uh, $500 million or more? I think, yeah. Um, Titanic. Titanic won. Uh, I don't recall if Avatar won or not, but I think Titanic would probably be the best uh, example. Um, that that I mean, that's one that you know critics and audiences you know love together. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I, I went to go see Titanic like three times, like, and I'm still mad at Rose because she had plenty of ro she had plenty of room on that board. She could have moved her little butt over. She ain't had to let Jack die like that. Sheesh. Anywho, thank you, Nelson. I appreciate that. And I'm sure there are more. I, you know, I'd have to go do some research. But Titanic's the one that comes right off the top of my head uh, for that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let me, let me catch up here. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, we do have a little bit more news here. Uh, so we do have some DC news. Uh, just real quick. This is nothing too crazy. Um, I, and I think we already kind of knew this. 
So after uh, Peacemaker, uh, uh, season two for James Gunn's Peacemaker was already renewed, um, which means that obviously he was going to do more. Um, he's later come out and talked about how uh, after Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, he's going to basically focus more on the DC TV stuff. Uh, what he had to say about it is, uh, I think I'm pretty much, uh, I think I pretty much have decided that after I'm done with Guardians, I'm going to be doing television for at least a year. My ma- my mind is made up on that. Not all the shows that we're dealing with are things that I'm going to be writing and directing. So some of them may uh, take different amounts of my time. Peacemaker is going to be me writing, me directing, and spending all my time on set. But other shows that may not be writing and directing or not uh, directing all the episodes. So I think this is really just um, letting us know that he is going to basically, you know, he's going to be very busy when it comes to uh, uh, everything DC. And I told y'all before, there are there's a lot of possibilities with just the Suicide Squad arena, that universe alone. You know, um, he he can totally do something with Ratcatcher 2. He could do something with Polka Dot Man. Um, To be honest with you, I wouldn't mind a Vigilante spinoff. To be honest, like, I'll watch that, you know? So, like, he's going to do it. But I love the idea that he is going to be focusing primarily on on the uh, uh, Peacemaker Season 2, where he's going to write and direct. Um, I think that is actually a really good idea for him. Uh, Really make it nice and focused uh, and hone in on the things that, you know, he does well. So I'm looking forward to that. And not by the way, and, you know, spoiler alert, if you have not watched Peacemaker yet, the finale, but I think, I think we passed the two week mark, the one week mark, maybe. Um, So spoilers can be shared. If not, Close your ears right now. Close your ears right now. You know, close your eyes, close your ears. Um, Let's see. What happened? Oh, so, okay. That was your spoiler alert. I hope y'all got it. Now I'm going into it. Um, Y'all recall at the end of of Peacemaker, we got that nice little cameo, right, from the Justice League. Uh, Now, the interesting thing about it, in in case you didn't notice, uh, yeah. Batman and Cyborg were left out of the finale. Now, all right, first of all, no, okay, let me actually, let me just say what what James Gunn had to say about it first. James Gunn said, you know, I don't know what I can, mm, there are reasons for it, but I'm actually uncertain whether I can say what those reasons are. It might have to do with future stuff. Yeah, I right, James. I I right, I right. look. First of all, we know Ben Affleck said for a long time that he's done playing Batman. That that's done, right? Um he is going to be in the Flashpoint movie though. Um <clears throat> but of course this is going to be their movie to open up the multiverse and do all these things. You got Michael Keaton's Batman in there too. So you're going to have all that stuff going on. But um with that said, if he's done, the question is, well, what other future stuff are they going to do? Are they going to bring in Robert Pattinson's Batman? Are they going to do something else where they don't want this version of Batman? Who knows? Now, with Cyborg, I think at this point, Cyborg, if y'all haven't known, Ray Fisher, the actor that plays him, he's had lots of beef for a long time with uh, WB. You know, and he's gotten to the point where, like, his beef was so deep that he was like, yo, just take me out of the Flash movie because I'm not going to be in no WB movies as long as Walter Hamada, who's like the executive, one of the executives at DC, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, as long as he's still in there, I'm not doing it. So, and I highly doubt that a WB exec is going to leave. He's out of there. Ain't going to be no cyborg. So that's yet another reason uh, why that is the case. Do I have the image? So the reason why we know about this, uh, let me see if I can pull up the image for y'all. 
the reason why we know about this is because this was actually posted by one of the extras. Hold on. Let me see if I can get if y'all. I know that might be a little tiny, but it, he was one of the extras. So this guy, he actually dressed up as Batman, um, you know, and he was going to make that cameo. Uh, hold on. I think I got a better. I think this is a little bit better here for y'all. So this was the actor that was going to play Batman, and he posted on his Instagram, uh, after that epic Peacemaker finale, I can finally post this. Sadly, I and Cyborg were cut from the final edit. Why? Only James Gunn and Warner Brothers knows that. Uh, dang, he tagged them too. Uh, while it's disappointing to be scrubbed out, this was still a blast and a dream come true to wear the suit. Big thanks to everyone involved. Well, I don't, <laughs> I mean, is my man going to work again? Like, I, <laughs> did you have to call them out like that? <laughs> yeah, I had to go tag them like that. But that's why Batman and Cyborg were not in uh, the finale there. So in case you were wondering, um, that's what it is. But yeah, th I've said this for the longest. There's so much mess when it comes to WB Snyder verse and like all the stuff they created, it's, it's just so messy. It's so bad. So messy, but I don't know. Hopefully they get over that and hopefully they work through it. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's all we got. Let me know any thoughts that you guys have on uh peacemaker or James Gunn continuing uh, the TV stuff with wb and if there are any i don't know shows characters that you would like to see highlighted let me know in the comments down below all right let's get to some more comments here uh derek did i see the obi-wan teaser no i have not i have not seen it um when i tell you this i dog i've been so busy this week like i'm i'm about to crash right after this g like if i'm being a honey with you like i'm i'm i ain't even had time to see it uh i'll look for it though but i'm also gonna wait for the trailer like when the trailer drops i'm pretty sure it's gonna be dope um but no i have not seen it yet uh thank you so much for that man uh let's see um let's see aj what you got ray can come over to marvel yes he can hey come on bro we got room i don't know who he can play mm, i don't know who can ray play I don't know. Y'all tell me if y'all know who Ray could play. I can't think of it right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think about that because he's got a good young look and he's in shape. So uh, I'd have to really think of like who he could play. But I like it. I, I'm I'm cool with that. Let him come through. I'm fine with that. Let's go. M. Dillinger, thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did you hear about the 12 graphic novels uh, from Black creators that are getting live-action adaptions that Sci-Fi Wire posted yesterday? Uh, Y'all got to check it out, E-Man. I'm so here uh, for it. Actually, yes, I did. Um, oh, let me see if I can pull up that link um, because I did see that, and I, was, I, I, I just skimmed it, um, but I was so, so happy uh to see that actually um be a thing hold on i'm trying to I'm, let me see if i can pull it up um but it was it got me really excited uh for it um let me see because i know i sent let me see because i sent it to somebody uh and it got me excited but yeah i mean this is stuff like you know how naomi uh is getting adapted um where is it where is it where is it uh, hold on, bear with me real quick. I see it. Nope, nope. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, there it goes. There it goes. Um, boom. Okay. Let me give it to y'all right here. Just a little quick thing here. Um, but yeah, uh, if you go to sci fi. Uh, you could definitely read it on your own time because I don't, you know, I don't have time to break them all down. Um, but it is an exciting thing to look over and to read. Um, but yes, we got a, a good amount. Um, the Bitter Root, that is going to be won by Regina King. I cannot wait. Regina King said that she wanted to get in on this. So that's going to be dope. Can't wait. Uh, the Banks, I haven't heard of the Banks. So I, I'm looking forward to that too. 
Uh, black is interesting. That description that they gave. Woo, yes, 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 yes. Looking forward to that. Prince of Cats. Don't know too much about it. I'm there for it. Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer. Look, if I could sit through, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, uh, Vampire Hunter. I watch this. Whatever. I watch it. It sounds ridiculous, but I watch it. Shoot. I like the regular Demon Slayer. Harriet Tubman. Ooh, and you know she's probably going to be killing some slave masters. Ooh, let's go. Uh, let's see, Jason Wise. This this looks dope. This looks dope. I'll I'll just yes. I'll give me that. Uh, Niobe looks good. Uh, let's see, the antagonist. I've heard about him, but I got to look more into this. Uh, let's see, Areti looks good. Um, the hated Static Shock. Come on now, y'all already know Static Shock is an instant right there. That's an instant classic right there. And the American Way. Come with it. Look, I'm with it. Thank you so much, M. Dillinger, for um, bringing that to my attention again. Um, but I am totally, totally down for it. Um, all of these things look perfect. Uh, and I cannot wait till they bring those things um, to the big screen or to TV in general. But thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Kano, James Gunn, uh, the Lobo, Nuff said, ooh, yes. Yes. I think, I've, I think I said this a while ago, but... He could do Lobo. He could do Lobo, and I think he'd do Lobo justice. You know, I listen. I've also said that y'all got the the multiverse. Take Jason Momoa out of Aquaman. He does not need to be Aquaman. I mean, I'm for real. You can do your Aquaman too, and maybe after that, do something with the Flash point and just say everything gets reset. But Jason Momoa was born to play Lobo, like. Everyone else that plays Lobo, I'm like, why y'all wasting y'all time? That's Jason Momoa's role. Like, you have him or Taika Waititi. You have either one of them. Man, come on, man. They gonna do damage. They would do damage. Thank you, Kano. Appreciate that. Marsha Reese, DC is raggedy, ashy, and musty all at the same time. All at the same Listen, they, they got to get it together. I'll say that. They got to get it together because this it's been messy for years years they trying to clean it up though they trying um but thank you so much for that appreciate that so so much uh what do we have here okay so we got that uh this was just cool just a little little spider-man no way home promo because i know some of y'all like uh physical media uh some of y'all like to buy like the blu-rays and stuff like that uh looks like that they are going to be coming uh spider-man no way home is going to be coming to video i'm sorry blu-ray and digital uh, a lot sooner uh it's gonna have uh 20 or more minutes of peter two and three uh so you're definitely gonna get a whole lot more but the cool thing about all this the real cool thing and this is the only reason i even brought this up to promote this look at what they had these guys do did y'all see this did you see this look at that now that's dope they had the guys come together and do the epic meme and do the finger point First of all, this is the way they should have done it in the movie. They did do a couple points in the movie, but I'm just saying they literally should have been like on the rooftop, like, wait a minute, what the hell? Wait, wait, hold up. What? Hey, what? But I love it. I'm glad that they got it. Just shows that they understand, they hear the fans. Cause I'm like, if y'all didn't do this damn point, what would be the point? What are you doing? What are you doing? So, yes, it was just kind of cool that they did that um but uh i do love that hold on what happened hold on uh did i miss somebody uh hold on i see somebody said i missed something let me go back who did, who did i miss did i miss someone's uh Okay, if I miss someone, let me know because I'm not. I think I addressed everyone. I don't know. Okay, if I miss somebody, I'm sorry, but I who who did I miss? Who did I miss? Or did I catch him? I don't want to. I don't want to be missing nobody. Uh. I don't see nobody, y'all. Marsha, 
Oh no, okay. Yeah, I got her. Prince Zodiac. Okay, where's Prince Zodiac? Okay, Prince, where's your all right? I'm trying to go up. Let me go up. Let me, let me see if I can catch it. I don't want to be missing nobody now. Uh you say you got a two dollar one. Okay, I see Marjorie's. I see Kano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See AJ, yeah. Okay, we got that. Uh okay, I'm not I don't see it. I don't know. Hey, maybe you, maybe YouTube's jacking up. All right. Hey, Prince, do me a favor. Just retype whatever you said, like right now. And I'll just, I'll wait. Cause I'm not seeing it like at all. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. So Prince, do me a favor. Just type what you, whatever you were uh, saying right now. Uh, I'm looking for it like right now, right now. So, um, <laughs> Ping too much. Okay. Uh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just post it in the regular chat. Just post it in regular chat and I'm gonna highlight it for you. Cause that's weird. I'm I, I apologize. I like I, I just scrolled all the way up to like the very top and I haven't seen it. So I don't know what happened or where the disconnect is. I apologize. Uh so yeah, Prince, go ahead and let me know whatever it is that you wanted to say. There we go. Uh, no, nah, I just told everyone to hit the like button. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Brace it. <keep. laughs> all right. All right. Let me scroll. Thank you, Prince. I appreciate you either way, man. Uh, let's see. All right. Now let me go back. Make sure I ain't missing the other people. Okay. So we got DC Raggedy. Okay. We got that. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, appreciate y'all for keeping me honest here. I appreciate that. Um uh rims help me out good peoples the likes are not moving and we can do this all thumbs are welcome thank you thank you thank you y'all appreciate that thank you so much rims definitely appreciate the support and definitely get those thumbs up appreciate that all day puma lee ray can play rage or prodigy we need some more good black heroes black superheroes matter facts on facts i'm down with that i don't know where they're gonna fit them but that's fine with me put them in there that's fine i like both of those choices thank you so much for that puma uh alejandro e-man by the way are you still planning to rent out a theater for multiverse of madness yes absolutely um yes that's happening so whenever those tickets start going on sale that's when i'm gonna have to actually i need to look at that um dang thanks for that reminder i need to remind myself to look up when the tickets go on sale so i can actually buy them hold on doc tickets on sale Thank you so much for that, uh, Alejandro, for that reminder. Um, but yes, absolutely. It's going down in Chicago. So if you're going to be in the neck of the woods, let me know. Um, but yeah, we definitely going to be doing that. Uh, uh, <laughs> we definitely going to be doing that uh, for sure. Uh, but thank you so much for that. Uh, let's see. Who else we got? Christopher, what you got? Ray can play Night Thrasher. Okay. A billionaire black businessman that created the hero group New Warriors that included Nova and Firestar. Totally love it. I love it. That sounds like a Disney Plus series. I like that. I like that. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I like that. I can see him as Night Thrasher. I can see it. Uh, let's see. Storm Shadow, my man. Thank you so much, brother, for the wonderful super chat. Appreciate that. Enjoy the Zoom. Uh, at times, it's straight to be more multifaceted topics, but I like how you kept coming back to the point. Recast T'Challa, save T'Challa. I proudly wear my Recast T'Challa shirt to work. Thank you, brother, so, so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, you know, they. they it was kind of the um, it's kind of the trade-off, you know, of the whole Recast thing. Like, you know, we kind of squeezed that panel discussion into, uh, uh, it was actually a film festival week for a movie called Sankofa, um and <laughs> one way or another i don't know i didn't work the magic but somebody a, a friend of mine did and he was like yo we gotta squeeze this in this panel discussion during this film festival i was like i'm down like anybody want to talk man look y'all want to talk recast the job i will be there so yes but thank you so so much for that ray uh ray uh i'm thinking of ray uh fishing now storm shadow appreciate you thank you so so much man uh let's see Derek. what you got Ray can play Bishop. He's better than Cable. Hmm. 
you know, I don't know if Ray, like, I don't see, like, I still kind of want Method Man to play him unless they go young. If they go a little younger, then yeah, I could see Ray kind of doing that. But for right now, I'm, I still would not mind Method Man stepping in to play Bishop, but you know, it all depends on how they want to go with it. But thank you so, so much for that. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. All right. So we getting down, uh, to it. Let's see. We got Patrick Stewart, AKA, what, Ooh, I call him steward. Um, uh, that's not accurate. Uh, put some respect on his name here. Huh? Uh, Patrick Stewart, uh, AKA professor X. Uh, he's been interviewed finally. And, uh, he's finally spoken out about, um, uh dr strange 2 and the trailers because you know come on now we heard his voice we know his voice you know professor x's voice but he had something to say and this is this is what he said when they asked him about whether or not that was his voice in the trailer he said you know people have been imitating my voice ever since i came on the stage 60 years ago so i can't be held responsible for that why are you out here lying why are you out here lying you see how he's just gonna come on like actors just gonna come out here and just lie just just, just like all right man all right man here's the thing this wasn't the only thing he said yeah i think i actually have the video here hold on let me pull it up this is what he also said when asked about Doctor Strange 2. Take a listen to this. I, I do have to quickly ask, uh, everyone's wondering, uh, Twitter's buzzing, uh, is that your voice in the Doctor Strange trailer? Can you comment on that at all? Who's Doctor Strange? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> really? Really? Who's Doctor? You don't get out of here with all this mess. Ew. Professor X out here trying to play mind tricks on people. Trying to play mind tricks. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get out of here. Come on out of here. So anyway, anyway, y'all know he lying. Y'all know he lying. That's okay. We Listen, we already went through this with Andrew Garfield. We already went through it. It's okay. <laughs> you know, it's all good. Hey, but I ain't mad at him. Secure the bag. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to violate your contract. You <laughs> Dr. Strange who? That, what what a strange name. He out here uh, like 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 Drax. You know why, Doctor Strange? How, Doctor Strange? I, who who the Doctor Strange? I ain't need no doctor. What you talking about? All right, man. We got you. All right, all right. Anyway, uh, uh <laughs> do you believe that uh Patrick Stewart is not going to be in Doctor Strange too? Uh, or you think it's actually his voice, or I don't know, someone else imitating his voice? Let me know in the comments. I don't know. They, my man playing funny. He playing funny. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, my man, Nelson V. What you got? Stuart pulled the Garfield. Ray can play Blue Marvel. You know, mm, Blue Marvel, maybe, maybe. He Maybe, maybe. I would have to see it. I would have to see it. Yeah, I would have to see it. He could. I, he could. I mean, honestly... The blue Marvel thing I've said before, it can go either way. If you can, you can go an older person, um, because he is older looking, even though he lives for a long time. But then again, Marvel might want to flip the switch and get someone younger and make them look older, so that way they can age into the role too. So again, depends on what direction they want to go in. Um, because let's not forget, Blue Marvel does, you know, he does have a thing with a uh, uh, Monica Rambeau, you know, so. You know, I, I don't think they want to have no like 60 year old looking dude messing around with her 20, 30 year old self. Uh, uh, you know, but anyway, uh, thank you, Nelson. Appreciate that. Dorian, uh, he is so awesome. Love Patrick Stewart. Yeah, he's definitely fun. Uh, definitely dope, dope guy. Um, real funny with it, with his little uh comebacks. Aleem, thank you so much. Theme of this chat looks like E Man meetup in Chicago for Multiverse of Madness. Chicago ain't ready. T shirts on deck, ready to wear. Hey. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, May, what is it, fifth or whatever it is, we're going, it's gonna, it's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. So um be on the lookout. I'll maybe I'll have to get the bigger theater this time because 
the last time I only did like a hundred people, I think. Um, and that was cool, but like, you know, if all of y'all coming through, man, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you know what? Maybe I'll do something like a uh, uh, a pre RSVP list so I can have an idea. Because a lot of times, whenever I do these watch parties, like people sign up and they like it goes fast, and by the time they fills up, people be on the wait list, and I'm like. I ain't got no more seats because the theater only holds so many. So, you know, maybe I should do that. But yeah, I'll do that. A pre RSVP. So I'll do a, a form or something for you guys so that I can have an idea. Cause if it's only like 10 of y'all or something like that's fine, you know? Um, but if it's like 30, 40, I might have to get a bigger theater. Uh, so for docs two, okay. I'm gonna do a pre RSVP for that. Uh, Alib, you better show up. You better show up. Thank you so much. Uh, Eric, thank you so much. All right, Xavier, keep your secrets. Recast the child. And please, recast Iron Fist. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he don't want to talk. He don't want to talk. That's okay. Let him Let him, Let him. him do his thing. Uh, Ray as Deathlock. Oh, okay. I can see him as, I mean, Cyborg, Deathlock is a pretty easy transition. Great pick. Great pick. I could see that. I could see that. Uh, thank you so, so much for that. Uh, okay. What else do we have? Um, that was the Dr. Strange. Okay. So, oh, okay. Sorry. Had a little mini brain fart. Uh, I do want to talk about this real quick, um, because this was making some news, um, that the Marvel Netflix shows, um, as you know, the rights on Netflix expire March 1st. So once they're done March 1st, um, the rights will go back away from uh away from Netflix and back to Marvel. So where are they gonna go? Well, um, the news dropped that actually the Marvel Netflix shows, uh, so Luke Cage and uh Daredevil and uh, uh Jessica Jones, Punisher, etc. Um, they're gonna be going to Disney Plus. Right, and I believe they said that it was going to go to Disney Plus on March 16th. Now, here's the thing though yes, it's coming to Disney Plus, but not in the US. So, unfortunately, um, this actually came from Disney Canada, I believe. So, everywhere else around the world is going to be able to watch the Netflix shows on Disney Plus except for people here in the U.S. Um, now, the reason for this, it has to do with regional issues and stuff like that. Like, the U.S. has got so many stupid red tape things for regional access or whatever. Um, but Disney Plus acquired a separate service, which was called Star. Star is kind of like the second place for Disney Plus, for Disney, I should say, because remember, Disney bought out Fox. It's where they can dump all their rated R material. So Disney Star or Star, however they want to call it, that's where the whole Fox catalog, you know, Die Hard, Avatar, everything, Terminator, whatever, that's where they can release those things. So it makes for a natural place for um, the Netflix shows, which most of them are rated R, it makes for a nice sp landing spot for them to go there. Now, the only thing, unfortunately, is we got to wait until, um, you know, Star finally becomes available in the U.S. How long that takes, I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I, I've been sitting here thinking, like, you know, I thought that Disney would treat Hulu like they treat star because they technically could they could take them same netflix shows and just throw them on hulu and everybody would enjoy them the same way they're all owned by the same people but one way or another i don't know um they're trying to um uh make it so that only the other international because again it's easier it's far easier um with the restrictions the regional access and all that stuff um, to do those things. And I remember a friend of mine was telling me that even on when they go to Mexico and if you go to Mexico and you get Netflix out there, um, you get everything. 
Like they got the DC Warner Brothers stuff. They got the Marvel stuff. It don't matter because they don't have the regional restrictions in the same way. So anyway, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, anybody not in the U.S. in the chat that's able to. <laughs> are you excited about this while we get to suffer because we don't get it? And it's funny, too, because most of the time things come to the U.S. first. So it ain't America first now. Oh, you know. Uh, but anyway, let me know how you feel about that. Um, in the meantime, I got to give some props to Davion. Thank you so much for the $5 cash app. Uh, for what it do, uh, man, been on the replay, replay gang lately. Davion, thank you so, so much for that. Appreciate that. Uh, sending some love right back. Uh, oh, and the homie, uh, uh, Brooke Shears, thank you so, so much for that. Sending some love uh, for his uh for his name is carol's son <laughs> okay thank you so much for that brooke appreciate you uh let's see what do we have uh nelson v what you got thank you so much for that disney plus may surprise us and release it with moon Knight on march 30th i would love that i would love it now moon Knight was already rated uh tv 14 which i think most of them are already um but i totally take it oh my gosh that'd be too good of a surprise so I, I i'll take that i'll take that um uh let's see disney doesn't own 100 percent. yeah i don't think they yeah i think they just own the majority share um because they bought out comcast they bought out fox um so they own the majority share so i mean they can i think they can do whatever they want with it i believe so um but yeah you are right that they don't i don't believe they have 100 percent uh, let's see, AJ, I am in Canada, so I'll enjoy it for y'all. <laughs> Thanks, AJ. <laughs> okay, appreciate that. that. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Uh, thank you. Uh, Alib, hear me out. Uh, you know Marvel be trolling. What if Ian McKellen played Professor X in Multiverse of Madness? Patrick Stewart and Ian are best friends. I'm sure he could do an impression. Okay. I'm fine. I, listen, I'm cool with the switcheroo. I'm, when it comes to Doctor Strange 2, I am so open to whatever happens that it really don't matter to me. Like, I it, yeah, it just does not matter to me. So I'm fine with it. Matter, yeah. So if they want to pull the switcheroo, fine. That's good. I'm fine with it. I'm with you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, my man Buzz, I'm late. Uh, li- just a little support. Hey, Buzz, thank you, brother. Appreciate you so, so much. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, wait a minute. I think. Is this uh no wait, wait wait okay so no we don't have that um okay so let's move on to the next thing here uh which is my Bel Air reaction so I have not watched Bel Air until recently like it wasn't until the day before like last night uh, night before I finally caught up to episode five I've been through the whole season and I watched the whole thing let me tell you right off the top. I like it. I like it. And I am really having a good time with it. Um, I like how, for the most part, the essence of the sh- of the original show is still preserved in this one, right? But not only that, um, I love the modern, most of them. I ain't going to say all of them. I like the modern twists that they're putting on a lot of the characters right and i also like the different direction that the story is going in relation to the characters so for example um you know by the way i'm gonna go into spoilers with this so spoiler alert if you have not watched bel-air please go catch up um because as of if not i want to say next week uh i will be doing uh, reaction videos for every episode. So, um, I don't know if I'll do a reaction during the next Friday live, or if I have time, don't hold me to it. If I have time, I might go back to doing breakdowns. Um, so not the lives, but just full breakdowns, you know, Lovecraft country style. I might go back and, uh, into doing that. Um, so if, if NBC plays nice with me and gives me them screeners, so I have time to prep them, uh, and I don't have to wait so long. Uh, I'll try and get those done for you guys too. 
Um, but anyway, that's your spoiler alert. Here we go. Uh, so yes, uh, uh, I like how, for example, when it comes to Will's character, I like how now he actually has a choice on whether to go back to Philly or not, as we just saw in the latest episode. Um, I thought that was really interesting. I thought that was because in the uh, original show, it was like he could almost never go back because that gang or whoever, they just were always going to be there. So he never had a choice. He never had to decide to actually stay like that. Um, so I really liked that direction. Uh, there were a couple characters I did want to talk about, and then I, I'll definitely jump into uh, y'all comments too. Um, who can we talk about first? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, where is he? Wait, wait, wait. Where is he? Okay, let's just talk about this. My man, Jabari uh, Banks. Um, I think he's a really good Will Smith. I think he is doing it really well. Um, I really, really thought that uh, he was able to handle the um, comedic and a lot of the dramatic stuff when it comes to Will's character. Um, and not to mention, here's something else. I also really appreciate the fact that he is, uh, and the show for that matter, is holding true to a real authentic Philadelphia vibe, even to the dialect, even to the vernacular, the fact that they talking about bulls and Johns and all that stuff, and they wearing the Philly gear. I love that because I don't think I got enough of that in the Fresh Prince story. I mean, yeah. You know, Will was always down for Philly, no doubt. But in this, Philly is in his blood. Philly is in how he talks. Philly is in everything. So I really appreciate that he's able to, like, communicate that in a more authentic way. Now, I will say, I think it was the first episode um, when uh, Jabari was actually having a conversation uh, with Uncle Phil or whatever. The one, you know, and I got like minor knocks, minor issues here and there. The one thing I thought they did a little too quick was, um, you know, when he was crying in front of Uncle Phil and he was like, man, I've been doing this with no daddy and I, I, I'm going to keep doing this. And I, and I was like, that's too early. You know what I'm saying? I felt like it was a little too early to pull out the, uh, you know, Will's, Will's trauma with his father, with his absentee father. I thought it was too early to pull that card so soon and then bring in the waterworks. Because when you think about the original Fresh Prince, and I'm a super fan of the show because I watch like damn near every episode. Um, the reason why that moment, you know, that how come he don't want me, man? The reason why that moment was so powerful was because we had not seen Will break down like that. They built it up. It took like seven, eight seasons to get to that point. You know, I mean, yeah, we might have had little things here and there, but like Will would always play it off with the comedy. And the thing is, is that comedy is such a beautiful setup when you're talking about storytelling. There's no better setup for comedy than what I like to call the crying clown effect. When you have comedians, Jim Carrey, Robin Williams, Will Smith, whatever. When you have these people that are funny, break that mold and go into something dramatic and get sad and depressed and go into that drama, it hurts. It hits. It You feel it. You know, I think that transition is something that really resonates. So to me, the fact that they they didn't take their time, they that should have been something like, I, I'd say season two talk about Will not having a dad or whatever, or have him play it off. You know, like, yeah, man, I don't need my dad. You know, whatever. And, and just change the subject, right? Show that that's psychologically bothering him, but at the same time, he's not willing to deal with it. I think it just would have been executed more. Um, so they they released the waterworks a little too early, for, in, in my opinion, just for that scene. But other than that, really enjoy his character, really enjoy what he's bringing to the table um, as well. Uh, let's see who else can we talk about did i get everybody uh oh let me see if i got all the uh okay you know what i'll do I, I'll, I'll go to her let's go over to hillary i like hillary i really like this new version of hillary um because they the the one thing i love about them and this rendition is that 
she's not an airhead. You know, now she is a social media, you know, a socialite. She's the influencer. I like that. But she's smart. You know, like she's she's uh, uh, it's not street smart, but she's social media savvy. That's another level of street smart. And I love that because even though her mom might not appreciate it, she will once she see them checks. When you start seeing them checks, you're going to see be like social media ain't that bad. But, you know, I like the fact that, you know, her re her her interaction with her mom is something that even I have to say I was going back and forth with in terms of I don't really know who I'm supporting here because one minute I'm on I'm on Aunt Viv's side. Next minute, I'm like, oh, but Hillary got a point, <laughs> you know, like, for example, when uh, Aunt Viv set up that meeting for her to, you know, what was that uh, with the big um, hot show, whatever that is, the big food influencers or whatever. And, you know, Hillary was like, man, I don't want to compromise myself. You know, like they over here talking about my food too spicy and this and this, you know, like, and, and you know what? At first, I was sitting here thinking like, man, that is kind of bogus that your mom went through all this to help you do something that you said you wanted. But at the same time, when Hillary came back and was like, yo, I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. And this is where I'm at. I'm like, yo, you cannot get mad at that. You cannot be mad at the fact that, especially as a parent, I am never going to be mad about my child having a sense of pride in themselves, you know, and standing up for what they believe in. Even if I disagree, I might disagree with it, but I'll respect it. So I definitely love the fact that they got Hillary out here not being, you know, the ditzy, uh, 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 you know, airhead or whatever. Um, but she, you know, and here's the thing. She's not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like she still needs to go get a job. <laughs> she still needs to go live on her own. I don't know how old she is in this, but, you know, you, you can't be living in your parents house forever. Like you should go out and you know, do your own. It's not like your family ain't got the resources to help you. You know, like if anything, go out, do some. If you fail, you got a nice cushion, you know. But anyway, um, definitely loved Hillary's portrayal in this. Um, I thought she was uh she's definitely a highlight for me. Um, actually, since we were talking about her, let's talk about Aunt Viv. Um, you know, I like I like Aunt Viv how she's written. Let me say that. I like how she's written. I like the fact that, you know, the way she is portrayed, um, you know, is still that uh, strong, confident black woman. I like that. I like how they replaced, uh, you know, old Aunt Viv's passion was actually ballet and dancing. So they replaced it with art, you know, uh, doing um, actual art pieces. So I thought that was great. You know, I like that transition. And again, keeping with, um, you know, her her desires and her passions, you know, and I like the I like her current storyline, just rediscovering herself. And, you know, uh, um, you know, and, and the thing is, I also appreciate how in her rediscovery of her passion of art and, you know, bringing it back, I like how they didn't demonize Uncle Phil in the process because a lot of times you'll see this trope where the wife marries the successful guy and she loses her identity because she sacrificed all of it for the husband right and the husband doesn't appreciate it etc i like and this is smart i like the fact that they said hold on wait a minute before aunt viv was the big star she was the big main artist at first and uncle Phil was lucky to have her. And during that time, uncle Phil played the role. He understood like, Oh, oh, oh I said some dumb stuff. Aunt Viv told me to shut up. Let me shut up. You know, cause I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't want to ruin her shine. That I'm telling you is so critical to see, especially in a black marriage. I love it because that's kind of what marriage is. When they say marriage is work, it is a give and take. It's a push and pull. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't tell y'all how much, you know, it is. I I'm like forever grateful to Mrs. E-Man for everything she does for me. 
You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm out doing, you know, different uh, screeners or if I'm traveling or whatever, like she's holding down the fort. You know what I'm saying? So like if if and, you know, in return, if I can do things like, OK, babe, hey, you know what? Go, 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 go hang out at that hotel on a staycation and, you know, here goes spa treatment like you do do your thing, you know, because she a teacher and, you know, hard te- teachers work hard. You know, so I'm like, yo, like it's always got to be a give and take. So I love the fact that they don't make either one of the spouses like, you know, better than the other or, you know, problematic or whatever. Um, I I like that dynamic that's going on. Um, Now, if I got to be honest, if I got to be honest. And I like her, I like her, but she's not giving me the same vibe the same vibe in her performance this is the critic in me talking i still enjoy her i still like her as an actress but she's not giving me the same energy that old aunt viv did both of the old aunt vivs because i what i'm thinking about is when she uh went to the principal's office when will got suspended And, you know, she was, like, treating them and everything. Here's the thing. When old Aunt Viv would treat somebody, I felt like I got a whooping through the screen. And she ain't even do nothing. She would just be like, nah, you ain't going to do this. Pow. You know, like, you. if anybody has been treated by a strong black woman, you know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not getting that energy from this current Aunt Viv. It's in the script. It's in the script. She's saying the words. She's acting it out. I'm just not getting the same energy. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But, you know, and of course, maybe y'all feel differently. But I'm just saying right now, I'm not feeling the same, you know, the same vibe with this on Viv that I was getting from the other ones. I don't know. Maybe she's a little too passive. I don't think she's as strong with it. You know, and she could build up. It could build up later, maybe, but that's just my quick take on her. Uh, who else we got? Uh, oh, well, we talked about him, too. So, Uncle Phil. I like this Uncle Phil. You know, uh, my man Yamacraw. <laughs> you know, Yamacraw. You know, I love that, you know, the Black Greek side. That's a shout out to them. Um, that was really dope to kind of, you know, highlight that element. Um, I also love how we're getting more of his political side right because even the other uncle phil um yes he was a judge yes he was able to pull strings and do things and he would flex a couple times and do his thing you know shout out to james avery rest in peace you know um but um this uncle phil i like how he's he's taking a more political approach and it's funny to me and i like how they're going at this where he has to deal with the classism issue, right? You know, when he went on his interview with Big Boy and he asked, you know, people ask him like, how much money you got? Like, (laughs) what you sitting on? You know, and stuff like that. So I thought that was actually an interesting thing because it's, um, and especially when he went back to his fraternity, um, you know, uh, uh, the, the get together, it's something interesting to talk about, especially in black culture, in the black community, where, When you get out the hood, what do you do? When you make it, what do you do? When you're rich and successful, what do you do? Do you go back to the hood? Do you help the people? Do you lose yourself? Do you lose your blackness because you have to assimilate in the rest of the world? And let's be honest, when it comes to rich people and affluent people, it's predominantly white culture, okay? Um... So this is where people are always like double checking his black card. That's why people are like, man, what you mean? You know, and that's why he had to be like, what are you talking? I'm a hip hop head. I still listen to hip hop. I still do this. I still look out for the brothers. I still do. Now, because he moved away, he obviously lost some connection with people, you know, even within his own fraternity. But I like the fact that, and this is, again, another beauty of all this. Black culture, especially, I love how we like will check each other, but then bring each other back in. You know what I'm saying? We'll hold each other accountable, but then we'll be like, all right, man, like you get it now, you back, Yama Crawl. 
come on back home. You know, so like his whole tension with the pastor, the reverend, I, th- I love that because I thought that was a really good um, representation of when classism meets racial issues. And that was just a really good humbling experience for him, too, for Uncle Phil. So I thought that was really cool. Um, you know, now, of course, he's going to be dealing with some more stuff uh, coming up real soon. Um, but, y'all, ain't no way he going to be able to handle anything. Without my man Jeffrey. Come on now. L- listen. Listen. Now, I know they called him Idris Elba in the first episode. And I'm mad because that was actually spot on. I know he tried to say, oh, how original. Th- bro, bro, you got the Jamaican and the London going on at the same time. Wagwan. Okay. But my man does sound like Idris Elba. I'm just saying. Um, By the way, he would be a fantastic, fantastic recast to Chala Candidate. Just saying. My man, look at the. the he just looks like black excellence. And maybe it's the beard. Maybe it's the melanin content. I don't know. But my man is a goon. My man is on point. Okay. I just wanted to say I'm down with Jeffrey. When they say he is a G, they are not playing because my man is literally an OG from the G of the G's. Okay. When my man said, hey, Will, it's all right. I'll take care of it. I was like, and then uh, 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 Rashad just came up missing? Have y'all noticed? Jeffrey don't clean, cook, or do a damn thing in the house. But he know how to clean up. He'll clean your situation. He's basically a male of Livia Pope. Like, <laughs> I mean, my man is... Listen, I love his character. I love his character. I love how he interacts with people. I love how he um, even interacts with the kids and stuff. Beautiful, beautifully written, great acting. Um, I want more. I actually want more. I, I want more because um, Jeffrey was always one of my favorite characters in the original now i'm thinking of like my favorite moments uh my favorite moment from the old show with jeffrey of course was always his interactions with uncle phil so uh, you know we're not getting that because they boys here um but my favorite interaction was when they when will tricked jeffrey thinking that he won the lottery and he was just like i quit (laughs) i quit (laughs) i quit i quit (laughs) i would love I love that scene. I love that scene. That that to me was ultimate Jeffrey. Um, but look, I, I am so, so looking forward to more of Jeffrey. My man is on point. Cannot wait. Um, definitely, definitely appreciate him all day. Um, but as I mentioned, like with the kids. So we also have uh, uh, our version of Little Judy uh, from uh, Family Matters with uh, Ashley. So... Ashley, you know, she hasn't really had that much screen time, right? And, you know, this is um, they, the the most that we've gotten from her so far is she's sneaking out and she's trying to hang out with some friends. And, you know, at this point, you know, and I think they've made it pretty obvious at this point that she's trying to discover her sexuality and stuff, right? Okay. Now, I know I've seen some of the chatter online. I've seen some people, you know, being like, oh, the agenda. Here comes the agenda. You know, I get it. I understand. But on the flip side, I also understand that this is something that, you know, is a reality for some folks, too. It's a reality for some, you know, kids and stuff like that. Now, if I have to give my personal take on this, which it is my channel, so I'm going to do that. My issue with especially this scene, right? I don't have a problem with Ashley talking to Hillary, you know, about her sexuality, about liking, potentially liking girls and maybe liking boys. And I I don't have a problem with that. Because, you know, some people would say that, like, yo, this isn't cool. Like, like, you know, kids don't need to be seeing this. First of all, this TV show is TVMA. Your kids shouldn't be watching this at all. Like, you know, now, hey, let me actually, let me take that back. Let me not tell parents what they's doing. 
I'm just saying it's not recommended. It's not recommended for young children and young viewers to watch. If you got a 12 year old watching this, that's your creative decision as a parent. I personally am not, but it is rated TVMA. But my issue with this is that I felt like, especially with this scene, it came off way too PSA, way too after school special, way too scripted. Okay. It did not come off as an authentic conversation between two people having this conversation. I mean, the mere fact that they had Ashley talking to the social media influencer that was like a sex educator and stuff like that, and then following up with her. And it was just kind of like, it just didn't feel real. It didn't feel real. So my question, my issue is not necessarily the subject matter. It is more so the execution of it. It felt forced in. It felt like because we want to talk about this topic, because we want to educate people, we're just going to force this moment in rather than letting it play out gracefully or having more authentic conversations. In my opinion, average people don't talk like that. And that's something, again, it's a critique on the writing more so than anything. Um now, if, I know because some people are going to ask me, like, well, what do you think about, you know, uh, uh, Ashley, you know, going through this stuff, the sexuality and stuff? Personally, again, this is not directed at kids. So I don't have an issue with this in adult setting with this uh, uh, series or whatever. I'm probably more conservative in the fact that I don't really like sexuality in any case for kids at all. Like. I even don't I don't even really like the whole princess and the prince kissing, you know, and Cinderella and all this stuff. Like I I, don't, I personally don't like that. So I don't care if it's straight, if it's LGBTQ, whatever. I don't really care for my kids to see stuff like that because I don't need them thinking. I don't need my five year old thinking where my boyfriend at. For me, that ain't cute for me. I'm not knocking nobody that, you know, want to be open with it. But I'm like, yo. Where Peppa Pig at? <laughs> you know, like where Bluey at? Where Blue's Clues at? Like that. Focus on that. Be a kid. I don't need you worrying about no boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Like, get out of here. You know, got some prince come out. And, what you now? You want a prince to come through your window and kiss you without consent? Oh no, no, not on my watch. I will cat Prince Charming come through my house. What? Don't make me break out Lucille. No, we ain't with it. We ain't with it. Shoot, frog in the print. We're going to have some frog legs tonight. Yeah, okay. Come and try it. Shoot. Anyway. um, So, anyway, that was my issue with that. It got me all riled up. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Um, But other than that, actress is good. I like her, too. Um, You know, then uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Of course, y'all know I'm saving the best one for last. Uh, <laughs> um, This. Let me just talk about this right here. Trey. Now, for one, I have to admit, I did not, um, I did not remember Trey was actually the same character that Don Cheadle played. Do y'all remember him? I mean, I remember Don Cheadle in Fresh Prince, but I didn't remember that he was actually Trey. So now I'm sitting here like, yo, this is actually dope that they got Trey in there like that. Um, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, but uh, 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 you know, I have to say, even this part, even this part, <sighs> Trey was acting a little, I can't say the word, but I'll just say that his reaction was a little soft, in my opinion. Um, it wasn't. Damn, I, I, I can't. I ain't gonna use the word, but I just thought he came a little soft. Like, man, you were gonna come back to Philly, man. How come you ain't gonna come back to Philly? I'm like, bro, like, hold on, wait a minute now. Like, why are you getting all in your feels over this? You know, I mean, y'all, y'all are like grown. And first of all, did you not see the seats? Did you not see the 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 the, the opportunity? They flow. They, bro, you got flown out. You got flown out. 
you know, be like, <laughs> oh, okay. I'll let y'all say it. I ain't going to say it. <laughs> I ain't going to say it. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just like, bro, are you really hating that damn hard? Like, your boy came up. He came up and he's willing to share with you. He flew you out. He, he was talking about, yo, let's do some more. He took you to go see your favorite rapper. But now you mad because he's not going to change and give this all up for you? And because you're uncomfortable leaving West Philly? If West, is West, if West Philly is all you got and what you want, cool. But that don't mean he got to give it up. So what? Let's just say he won the lottery. Let's say Will Smith won the lottery. What? He, he's supposed to give up the money and everything just so he can move back with you? Like, what are you saying? Nah. So for me, again, I don't know. Maybe this is a writing thing or whatever because, you know, it was it was foreshadowed pretty easily, you know, that, like, he was going to blow up. But, um I, I just, I just, for me, I didn't like how, I didn't like how simple they made him, you know, cause they, they made him like a real hater and it sucks because, you know, that's just something else that Will is going to have to deal with. Um, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, uh, uh before I get to the main one, cause y- y'all know I'm saving him for last. Uh, I, I forget. I didn't get an image of him up here, but I gotta say. I really like what they did with Jazz. Jazz, first of all, they made my man an Uber driver. I love it. Uh, straight up hustling. They made my man come out and um, and, uh, uh, own a record store. You know, shout out uh, Jazzy. You know, uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff. I love it. I love it. You know, they, they, that's what I'm talking about, like, with preserving that energy. You know, Um you know, hey, and don't worry, I am going to go back and go to all the comments later. I'm doing this right now just so we get the reaction, and then I'm going to go back. Don't y'all worry. Um, but uh, I like the actor that they have for Jazz. Um, I like the fact, even though, and correct me if I'm wrong, don't he look like a young Jason Weaver? Y'all remember Jason Weaver? You know, the smart guy. Remember him? He, rem- he looks like him to me. Um, but uh, I I definitely love the fact that they got him in there. I lo- my man was smooth with Hillary too. I like how se- Hillary ain't had to play him. I liked it. I liked it. You know, so it, that was definitely something. Um, I really appreciated that, and you know the fact that you know they they kind of um are making Will and Jazz like become best friends. Like yo, Trey gotta go. Like straight up, Trey, Trey can kick rocks, go on back to West Philly. Jazz can step up um and and take over. And I think that'll be more than uh enough. Um, but I definitely, definitely love uh what they are doing with him right now. Um, let's see, do I have okay, hold on, hold on, because I do want y'all to see this. Hold on. Yeah, y'all not gonna tell me he don't. Hold on. Let me let me put this up. Let me put this up. And yeah, don't worry. Again, like I said, I will be going back um, and putting up all the uh, the comments and everything that y'all uh, sent in. Um, look at this. He don't look like Jason Weaver. He don't look like Jason Weaver. Y'all forget what Jason Weaver look like. Come on now. Come on now. That's that. That's Jason Weaver to me. I, I, I'm just saying that's a young Jason Weaver. I don't know if I got him. Uh, and and uh, where is he at? I don't know. Just Google Jason Weaver in sunglasses. You'll see him. You'll see him. Anyway, um, but of course, look. Last, last but not least, last but not least, this ninja. They are doing a number with this brother. And let me say, shout out to this actor because he got on my last nerve every time. You know how he always come in and he be he got to have his head up like, what's going on, Will? 
Yeah. So you gonna pull out a gun on me, Will? Hmm. Hmm. What are you gonna do, Will? Hmm. Hey, <laughs> right, bro, if you don't get your coked out, look at some. Listen, I'm so sick of this man. Sick, I tell you. Sick. Ooh, I can't take him. I can't take him. And then, oh, when they, and you know, they didn't waste no time. They opened it up with, uh, what's that boy's name? Connor? Was it Connor? Chris? Uh, uh, Drake? I don't know what his name was. Whatever it was. Out here saying the N word and everything. Man, what? And you saw him doing the Bobby Smurder. Mm, 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 mm. He didn't even care. He didn't even care. Just gonna let little Connor boy just talk like that. Man, you better get that little Malfoy out of here. Man, listen. And so, okay. But here's my thing with this, my my issue with this. I don't have a problem with the show making Carlton have these confrontations with Will. The issue that I have, because if you recall back in the original show, Carlton and Will had beef, but they weren't like fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like they're still family. They had beef in terms of, um, uh, I think it was a lot more civil, you know, like Will would talk about and insinuate how Carlton was a sellout, but he never really called him a sellout, you know? He never would really go into that, but he would poke fun at him, right? And I remember, if y'all remember that episode when uh, Carlton was pledging, when Carlton was pledging um, and they wouldn't let him in because he wasn't the right type of brother, that is when that really started to come out, right? But that didn't come from Will. If anything, Will came and, like, supported him after Carlton, you know, stepped up and, you know, for himself. So for me, I'm just kind of like, I feel like they've changed the dynamic between Will and, and Carlton to probably not the best effect. I think long term, obviously, because they have all these issues or whatever, they will grow to have more mutual respect and they will eventually love each other in a much more positive way. But right now, I feel like they're making him too much of the antagonist. A little bit too excessively. And I mean, even the whole drug thing. Yeah, it's cool that they're giving him the whole anxiety you know, a uh, situation um, that's real. People do deal with that. Um, but I mean, Carlton did, first of all, Carlton did drugs like on one episode and it was on accident, you know, like he took the wrong pills or whatever. I mean, he was not like a cokehead. He wasn't like some drug addict like that, you know, on the show. So I, they, they kind of really pulling that string. They're really pulling it, you know? So I don't know. I just think that they kind of go a little out the way to make him so angry. I mean, think about it like this. Like, why is Carlton mad that Uncle Phil pulled some strings to help Will? You know, and even the whole excuse, like, well, Dad, you taught me to be like this, and this is what, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, stand up, and my word means something. Y yeah, okay. But in the real world, in the real world, people do things. People make mistakes. People get over it. That's real. You got your whole little white friend out there doing a whole lot. You ain't so clean yourself. Almost got Will expelled and all that. You know? So, you know, not to mention he embarrassed Will in front of the whole school and all that stuff. So, you know, for me, I'm just kind of like, you know, I, I, I just want them to kind of like tone it down a little bit with trying to make Carlton so antagonistic. I'm not saying they should never have conflict. I'm not saying that they never should bump heads, but they're making it to the point where like, you just want Will to beat him up every single time. Like every time Carlton opens his mouth, you want somebody to punch him, you know? And the thing is, is that, and I'm not even saying Carlton's got to be the butt of every joke, but at the same time, it's kind of like, you want him to carve another lane. Because I think there's value in seeing Carl things through Carlton's perspective, right? Like he grew up with this mentality and, you know, there are certain things that he sees that have value that, you know, can help Will. 
And Will has certain things based on how he grew up that can help Carlton. So I hope they kind of tap back into that and where they can, you know, get away from like all the real negativity. Cause this is like heavy negative stuff. I mean, you out here fighting with your family like this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand family can be annoying, but like you, you throwing fists, you pushing people in pools and like you doing the most. So I don't know. I, I, I personally think that they could tone it down a little bit um and and kind of get him a little bit more um uh just push him a little bit more towards something a little bit more um dynamic because right now i feel like he's just one note i feel like all he's doing is just let me just be mad angry jealous of will and that's it i want to see a little more complexity from him and look this is only five episodes deep it's only five episodes so there's clearly plenty of room for this growth to happen um, but you know, we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, that's my take. That's my reaction. Uh, you know, I, sorry, this took a little while because this was five episodes worth. Um, that's my take on all of, on the characters and everything. I don't think I left anybody out. I hope not. Um, but I am totally enjoying the show so far. Um, I am definitely looking at, um, I'm looking forward to what they're going to do with this. Um, I do like the fact that they are making this more of a drama um i don't think it needs to be a comedy um in the same sense because again as long as they keep the heart and the the essence of this whole thing um i think it matters uh to keeping this together oh i almost forgot what is up with will's mama like will's mama when she was talking to aunt viv and she was like you know because like viv was like hey there are all these opportunities for will out here I'm thinking like, yo, what do you think? Like, can he stay and all this? And she's like, you know, that's my son. And, you know, I'm going to raise my kid. Why are you trying to take my kid? And it's like, what? Like, I don't know. I thought I thought Mama Smith was tripping for a little bit. I'm like, why wouldn't you want your kid to have more opportunities, more exposure, more resources at their finger? Like, nobody's taking your kid away. I, I don't know. I thought that was a reach. Anyway, appreciate that. Uh, thank y'all so much for indulging me on that. Um, I thought that, uh, like I said, this is a very, very good show so far. I am definitely looking forward to the next couple episodes, and we will absolutely cover more um, uh, every week. Uh, that'll definitely be what we do until uh, <clears throat> Moon Knight drops. Uh, so that'll be our new show for sure. Um I'm not gonna give this a rating right now because I think you know we could wait until the season's over or we'll just do the other episodes. Um, but I eh, that's okay, I'll do so. I mean, so far, so far, I got this around like an eight and a half. Like, I'm really having a good time with this. So I got this at around like an eight and a half out of ten. Um, up to you know, I guess this is the midway point because it only goes up to 10 episodes, I believe. So halfway through, I'm at an eight and a half. Let me know how you're feeling about it um you know feel free to drop that and any other comments that you have shout out to the replay gang you know let me know what you think about uh the first five episodes of fresh of bel-air i keep calling it fresh prince of bel-air and uh you know let me know what you think all right let me go i gotta scroll i know i'm a scroll 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 i'm gonna go back i gotta get these comments i ain't gonna forget about y'all uh <clears throat> Okay, so just, you know, since we're in between right now, um, just so y'all know, I told y'all, or I think I did, um, I finally got an editor. I finally got an editor, and I am so, so excited because now I can go work on other projects, and I can let my man do his thing and break these videos up, break them up into little chunks, put the little graphics and stuff. Oh, my God, y'all don't understand. That's literally an entire day's work off my plate that I can give to somebody else. It still gives people content, you know? I mean, y'all here tonight, so that's great. But, like, for the people on the replay gang, you might not want to watch a full two hours. You know, I get it. But, oh, my God, I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. So I'm about to give my man some work. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons why, like, sometimes I'm going to skip uh, um, the uh, super chats and the comments for now. I'm going to get that clip, record it, and then I'll go to the comments. So please don't feel like I'm ignoring y'all on purpose. Definitely not trying to do that. I'm just trying to structure this in a way so that way we can chop it up, get the small clips of this, and uh, and move forward. So uh, that's that's the reasoning for that. 
Uh, let's see, my man Didier, thank you so much. I like how they made Jeffrey like Alfred. Yeah, except he don't cook clean or do nothing. <laughs> like he don't do nothing. Like he's just every time we see Jeffrey, he's chilling. He's a house manager. He's chilling. He pay who needs to get paid. He uh picks up who he needs to pick up. I love it. I like at this point, I I love his character. Uh, thank you so much, Lau. I like Bel Air. I'm happy uh, about good black shows. Facts. I am too. Um, I think the representation is so so vital, so important. I mean, even if they're dealing with serious issues, I think that they're doing a lot of it very responsibly. Um, and in a way that we can be proud of. So I really, really enjoy it for sure. Um, thank you so much for that. Uh, Lyle, again, new Jeffrey is my fave change to the characters. Facts. I'm with it. Although I still miss the back and forth jabs, you know, the fat jokes. Is, I miss that, but I'm not mad at this version either. This, this version is smooth. My man has got it. He's got it. Facts on facts. Uh, Buzz, DJ, Jazzy, Jeff grew up in Philly, not LA. Oh, Right, yeah, yeah, he did, he did, yeah, you're right, you're right, because they both were in Philly, um, but you know they're they're changing that. It, it's not like the worst thing, but I get it, I get it. Uh, thank you for that, appreciate you. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, just my opinion. Oh, thank you, brother, appreciate you. Recast the child, save the child, and please recast Iron Fist, Black Panther rules, Bel Air rules. I love this show. Haven't been this entertained in a while. Man, they setting us up for an epic Joffrey 007 agent <laughs> ninja assassin scene. Listen, bro, I am with you 110%. I can't listen. If they give jo if they give Jeffrey one fight scene and he just murks them people, like he wins the show. He's going to just win. Like <laughs> he just makes phone calls to people and that's it. Like, I don't even know if he is going to fight. Like, he might not have to. Oh, my gosh. I So, so, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And y'all know the drill. Y'all make sure y'all go follow my man. He's actually got breakdowns on the episodes. Um, So, if you are interested, please go ahead, check him out. He's doing his lives as well, doing breakdowns on Bel Air. Uh, I'm trying to play catch up with you, bro. So, yes, we are 100% on there for sure, man. Thank you so, so much for that support. Appreciate you all day uh let's see buzz jeffrey is the man yes he is yes he's the g jeffrey is the g uh let's see kano thank you so much for this contribution uh i love that we got uncle phil and they didn't feel the need to make on viv a single mom and give another talented black actor the opportunity recast the child this show is better than i ever thought for real for real yeah and you know what that's it's interesting because they could have gone that route right like with uh james avery passing away they could have been like oh yeah you know it's just all on aunt viv and you know but i think that there is value you know and by the way shout out to all the single parents out there single moms single parents all of y'all um because it's look I, we're a two-parent household and it's hard i couldn't imagine doing this by myself I, what no thank you so yeah they, they single parents are like one of the hardest working people in the world um but I do think that there's a lot of value, especially when it comes to um, uh, the black culture and black community to see strong black relationships on screen. Um, because while, you know, being a single parent is, you know, I'm sure, you know, it's tough. Um, and, and, you know, I respect that. I don't think people strive for that. I don't think that that's a goal. I don't think, um, the average person says, let me just go have a kid and take care of them by myself. Like, that's hard. You, it, it, I can't. Exp I mean, if y'all have kids, y'all know it's hard and you got to work and stuff, too. You know, so I, I like the idea that, like, you know, you want to put these fictional characters as goals, you know, like just in turn and, and make them positive at that. So, Kano, thank you so much for that. Appreciate that contribution all day. Buzz, my man, Jeffrey, is the flexing cleaner. I know He don't clean, though. He don't clean, but he does clean up situations. So we'll leave it at that. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you for that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm going to have to go back and read. I'm, I'm going to go read all y'all comments on the replay um, because I, I got the live comment chat thing featured on. Uh, so I'm going to read a lot of what y'all said earlier because I see y'all going in. I love it. Uh, my man, Jason, E-Man, the only trustworthy show. 
Uh, psh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Buzz, back at it. Do you think Jazz is going to smash Hillary? Okay. I don't think, I, listen, I think they're going to date. I think that they are going to uh, have a nice, healthy relationship. And he's going to take her out for a nice seafood dinner. That's what I think. That That's where I think is going to happen with Jazz and Hillary. That's that's what I would like to see. I'd like to see it. I would like to see Hillary be courted. I would like to see her, you know, not be, uh, I, I would like to see her uh, be swept off her feet, you know, by the fact that like he's coming from like a different perspective. He's not in social media. He's not rich. You know, he's a lot more grounded. I'd like to see how they complement one another. What I don't want to see, Jazz better not go uh, doing any bungee jumping. Don't do it. Jazz better not do any bungee jumping. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all, I, I, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. He better not. I don't want to see that. Uh, all right, let's see. I, I missed, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, 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 uh, nope, nope, okay, got that, got that, um, all right, Mr. C, what you got, Carlton is the best character, I mean, he, yeah, like, he's the one character that gets me the most riled up, like, he gets on my nerves, he, he agitates me, but at the same time, that's good acting, you know, like, if you were indifferent about an actor, that means they're not doing their job, they're not doing anything to stand out, they're not doing anything to grip you, and, you know, I might have issues with like some of the writing so far, you know, again, that that whole tune can change by the time the season's over. But um, he's like the most compelling character right now. So shout out to him and the actor like they are definitely doing their thing. And I really appreciate it. Uh, David, thank you so much. Uh, what do you think about having white people use the N word black person asking? Uh, I love that the scene showed um, what the scene showed, but really don't like white people using it on screen or not um so here's my thing i think that you know okay y'all asking the complicated questions now so let me say that the n-word whatever version er a whatever i don't think that that's a word white people would even want or should want to use like it's just a word that has an ugly history. And even if black people are using it in a positive sense, why would you even want to use it? Like, you know, and I, I mean, I have a lot of white friends and, you know, my white friends, they usually will not use it because for them, they're like, mm, I just don't want to, you know, it, it don't feel right. So for me, I, I usually ask, like, why would you want to use the word? You know, it's not a word that you can, uh, um, it's a loaded word. It's a word that comes with so much baggage. You know, now the the one little caveat, I guess, and you know, for any white viewers that are watching, the one caveat I would say is like, if you get, if you have a black friend or if you're in a black community and someone gives you a pass. So in this case with Connor, Carlton clearly has given him a pass right that pass is it's not for unlimited use and what do i mean by that it's not an all access vip pass to use the word if carlton is comfortable with connor using that word around him go for it if that's you within that one little private thing fine if you're if you have a little circle of black friends and they let you say that you're the white person, they let you say it. OK. But you have to understand that once you leave that little circle, once you walk away from Carlton, it ain't good no more. Your pass already expired. OK, you're going to need it's not a passport where you could just travel anywhere and use that word. It's it don't work like that. And here's the other thing, because I understand people are going to be like, well, black people use it, the rappers use it. What, what's with this double standard? Let me explain to you why the double standard is actually fair. Because in society, 
there are multiple double standards. And because there are other double standards that other people can't engage in, that's what makes it fair. My wife or other, you know, female friends can call each other the B word all they want. It doesn't matter. Even if they say I can use that word, I'm not going to use that word in reference to women because it's disrespectful. And other women might find it disrespectful. Is it fair that I can't use this word? Yes, it is fair because that's the way double standards work. So if women want to use that word amongst them, that's their business. Let them do that. If black people want to use this word, the N word amongst each other. And by the way, all black people don't even like the word. Okay. Like all black people don't. So for example, I will use the word, but only in certain spaces where I know people are comfortable with it. But when I'm around other black people, I don't know. I don't use the word. Hence why I call Carlton a ninja, you know, because I don't want to be offensive to other black people even who don't care for the word. That's just courtesy. That's pu- that's that's just, you know, basic respect. But like, let me give a more common basic example of this double standard just so that people don't think that it's only women and only black people. You can call your siblings, your family members, your mama, whatever you want. Y'all know some of them people out there calling they 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 mama outside their name or oh man I can't stand that witch. Nah. Well, what if I came in and said like, yeah, that witch is dirty. You're gonna be like, wait, man, that's my mama. You can't talk about my mama. I can talk about my mama. You can't talk about my mama. That's a double standard, right? So that's why I'm saying we all do that. If you could talk about your family, but other people can't, then you should understand that, like, let that word be a let it be. So what if you listen to it? Yo, if you want to mumble whatever you want to mumble in your head, fine. You want to listen to your music, fine, whatever. Just understand that even though you're free to use it, you're not free from the consequences of other people's opinion and or reaction to it. All right, there you go. I gave you my little take on that. I ain't even, there you go. Hope that meant, made sense. Hope that made sense. Thank you, David. Appreciate you. Hope that was worth it. All right. J- Jordan, thank you so much. Appreciate you, sir. Uh, let's see. Bel Air has been a dope watch. While this Carlton is far stretched from the Princeton bound, accidentally taking speed version. I appreciate him ap- approaching Jeffrey from um, uh, God of Thrones level uh, type villainy. Yes, yes. Facts, facts, facts. Yes. I, I, and like I said, I mean, we're only at the halfway point. You know, these characters are going to develop. They're not going to be the way I don't know how long this series is supposed to last. I don't know if they have multiple seasons in mind, if it's limited. Um, But, you know, I'm looking forward to the growth, and I would like to see where Carlton is, Jeffrey, everybody. I want to see what happens by the time the finale happens. You know, I want to see the trajectory at that point. But, yeah, I'm 100% with you on that. And I do like the variety. I do like the fact that we're getting something a little different from them. Uh, let's see. Okay. We got some, we got some ratings. Hold on. Let's see. How'd y'all feel about it so far? Seven and a half. Okay. 10. Cool. Eight. Nice. Eight, eight and a half. Eight. Nice. 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 Uh, shall, why are you here? Why are you here? Didn't I tell you we was going to ruin the show? <laughs> Zero. Okay. Y- yours don't count. Yours don't count. Uh, nine, <laughs> eight and a half, eight and a half. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, thank y'all for that, for weighing in. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make sure I ain't miss nobody else. Hold on. Listen, hey, hey, don't do it. Don't do it. Stay away from that bungee jumping. Stay away. Don't do it. I'm gonna be so mad at. Ooh, let Hillary talk about some. Hey, Jazz, let's go on vacation. It. And... Y'all not gonna kill Jason Weaver like that. Don't do it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. All right. Um, uh, man, come on, man. Hurry up and go watch it, man. Come on now uh let's see uh it was a two season order based on the trailer that went by oh okay cool so two seasons that's cool i mean like you know i don't want them to like stretch it you know i don't want them to force it and stretch it if they don't have to um but i could see them wrapping it up in two seasons also i could see that so you know that could be that could definitely be something 
uh, if they go that route. But thank you for that. Appreciate that. Um, okay, so I think we are. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I, I'm actually getting to the close. I told you I wasn't gonna be able to do this for too long. Um, oh dang, because I gotta go work. Oh, um, hold on, y'all. There was actually something I wanted to share with y'all. I forgot about this. Um, it was a cool little article. I don't know if y'all ever heard about this. Um, hold on, let me pull it up real quick because it was actually kind of cool. Uh, have y'all heard about this? Doctor Strange 2 trailer may secretly be a tease, uh, may secretly tease a bigger threat than Thanos. You know, this was what wait, wait a minute. Wait a hold on now. Let me zoom in. What yo, what is this? What is this? Did y'all on the screen right get out of here get out of here when did this boy start writing for screen brand yes yes that's right i wanted to break it to y'all here but that's right your boy is now an official writer for screen rant you know in case y'all didn't know screen rant got all the clicks they got all the views they got all the all the numbers i told y'all i was working didn't i tell y'all i was working now now look don't don't tell nobody because I don't think they watch this channel anyway. You know I'm gonna try and slip in a couple certain articles. You know, y'all know I'm y'all know I'm gonna try. You, when I tell you I'll be working, I'm. Tr I told you I was working. So yes, yes, this is my new this is my new little thing. You know, so you know if y'all see the little articles, go ahead and get a little click. You know, little little, little click never hurt nobody. You know, but uh, man, it was it, oh, man, it was like two, two, three weeks of training because they are very, very particular. They are, it's a lot, it's a lot. You want to learn how to write? Whoo, man, they will put you through the gamut. But uh, yes, so this is my very first official uh article. You know, I got to warm them up first, you know, hit them with a couple Doctor Strange things in there, you know, and then sooner, sooner or later, once I graduate, you know, I'll get to uh, author level where i can write longer pieces you know maybe i don't know talk about how recasting has never been a bad thing i don't know. um talk about you know uh how making mantles a hot potato ain't really a good strategy you know i some opinion pieces you know i might do that so anyway uh i just wanted to share that with y'all um you know i've been sitting on this for a minute um but i i just think that it's uh it's definitely going to open up a lot of doors. It's going to open up a lot of eyeballs. Um, you know, it, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But thank y'all so much. I see a lot of love in the chat. Appreciate that so, so much. Um, you know, but I did want to share that with y'all anyway. So that that is all I got for tonight, y'all. I appreciate y'all so, so much. Um, thank you to everybody, you know, for tuning in. Thank you for everyone that's supported, that's joined the live chat. Thank you for all the financial support as well and keeping this channel going. I really, really appreciate y'all as always. Um, of course, y'all know I'm, I'm, I don't know. I feel like a workaholic at this point because I still got things I got to work on and do, um, but I'm going to try and do it all for y'all, you know? So um, next week, I am actually going to be doing some um, business uh, travel, so I might not be very accessible um for the next couple of days um so i gotta you know i gotta go handle some business do a little networking um hopefully that translates into some bigger things um but man you know thank you <laughs> thank you frigga <laughs> appreciate that uh yeah the missus ain't here to throw money at me so i'm cool with that uh thank you thank you thank you for that appreciate you uh thank you dorian let's see the appeal of having multiple actors in one role showing different takes uh money recasting could bring that it could it could um if we're doing like a multiverse thing but i would have to uh i mean i have other reasons that i would go into that but anyway thank you thank you so much so much um but yeah you're right you're right especially with spider-man of course recast the chala uh, but thank you so so much uh y'all pay attention to the um the link I because I know some of y'all are asking for the shirt. I have to actually create it. I, I just made this shirt for myself. Sorry, I was a little greedy. Uh, I wanted to see how it looked first. Um, but I know some of y'all want it, so I will make the shirt public 
on my T public uh, account. Um, and the, I'll post it and I'll pin it in the comments to this video. So just check back on Saturday. Um, it should be uploaded at that point. Um, but again, thank y'all so, so much. Y'all have a great weekend. Uh, we will definitely re, um, we will definitely meet back up. I think, let's see, fresh, the Bel Air comes out on Thursdays. So we'll probably just do it on Fridays, you know, our reactions or whatever. So we'll just meet back next Friday. Um, but anyway, thank y'all so, so much, y'all. Y'all already know I, I, I love, you know, hanging out with y'all and doing this every week. So, um, be blessed, be safe, wash your hands and wash your butts. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.